I am Spectre. Welcome to Ape Academy. Ready for some basic training Ape Escape style? Well then grab your PlayStation Portable and load up Ape Escape Academy. Ape Escape Academy takes place almost right after Ape Escape 2. Spectre, the white monkey who became intelligent by wearing a Peepo monkey helmet, he's established a school in order to train his men, the Peepo monkeys, in order to conquer the world. This game is a collection of mini-games at that school. You're in the academy now. Look sharp by customizing your Peepo monkey. You can choose between six different colors of pants. Red, blue, yellow, green, light blue, and white. Each personality also varies. One is awkward, one's really short-tempered, and so on. Select a character, give him your name, and play the game. In academy mode, you'll need to pass six grade levels to graduate. Navigate through the tic-tac-toe style boards. Each box represents a different minigame challenge. Make a line by completing three minigames. Make enough lines and you're promoted. After you complete the sixth grade, Principal Spectre is waiting for you on top of a six-story tower that you have to climb up while trying your best to use Kung Fu. It's hard to imagine such a spectacular finale for a collection of minigames. But it's a long climb to the top. There are over 40 minigames to master and several ways to play them on the PSP. While it's hard to say that we've developed features of our game specifically for the PSP, we do have about 13 games in which two people can play by sharing one PSP in what we call share mode. The width of the PSP and its screen's wide viewing angle makes it very easy for two people standing side by side to play a game together. We took advantage of this in our design because we figured that if you were to play the game at all, then you would want to play the game together with friends, shoulder to shoulder. There's another mode called ad hoc mode, which uses ad hoc Wi-Fi communication. We have four games that support this mode, and if you have a friend who also has this game and the PSP, then you can battle each other. You can also exchange unlockable people monkey figures by using this mode. So, not only can you battle, but you can also trade figures that you've collected throughout the game with each other. Having such a battle game as a place for tradable collectible figures should be a fun element in this game. Switch over to collection mode and you can play any of the 40 minigames endlessly. Check out the One Meter Dash. Or hold the PSP vertically to play Salvage. And try your hands at juggling. My personal favorite is a game called Monkey Juggler, in which you must juggle continuously. This game is designed to be a single player game. However, if we share the controller, by me controlling the right hand while my friend controls the left hand just like this, right, left, right, left, it's actually quite fun to play with two people, so I often play this game with my child at home. With all these games and different ways to play them, you'll definitely have your hands full. What's the best course to take? Well, this is the hardest question. You can really play this game lightheartedly by yourself within a short period of time, or when those games become a part of the collection, you can play them endlessly. You can readily play a versus battle with a friend or also play cooperatively. I think that the best part or the most fun part of playing Ape Escape Academy is that you can enjoy these various ways of having fun rather than any particular game that you enjoy the most. Though it's also good to play it by yourself, please bring this game out and play it with your friends. I think the best part of Ape Escape Academy is that you can discover new gameplay by playing with your boyfriend or girlfriend, your family, your children, your father, your mother. So I hope that you'll have fun by sharing this game with everyone. So if you want to get to the head of the class and be top ape, you'll have to matriculate and graduate from Ape Academy.